Okay, so I actually don't know what this video is actually going to be. Initially, it was supposed to be another one of those, like, world candy snack box opening things, which I have three of them right here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Since we did the last one, I have this box here, another box here, I have three boxes here, and I have stuff sent to me from viewers via the wish list on my live streams. So I want to do them, I want to do one snack box, and I want to do this that my sister sent me. Okay. I know it's a lot of stuff, but i got to unbox it because this, this stuff's got to be here for a long time. Why are you licking my hand? I know. We're milking you for views. Yes, we are. That's Clyde. One second, let me see what Clyde's name. This moron. I will not edit Fortnite. I will not edit Fortnite. Yes, you will edit Fortnite. I have a loving relationship with Clyde. Okay, let's get the, the this stuff out of the way. Stop grabbing my ass, woman. I'm there for support. I didn't want you to fall over. Recognize these, boys? Recognize these? Yeah, vintage. Oh my god, this is so Vanos, Anton. Oh, Vanos, you taste so good. We're starting off with stuff off of my Amazon wish list. Now, what we've done this time... So wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So we're doing this video of all the presents that you got. No, there's not that many. It's that you just start the video. Nothing then for me, just for you, huh? Yeah, you, 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 you never know. There could be stuff in here for both of us. Mm -hmm. So what we did was I brought on a, a friend of mine, Seth, who's now part of my team and Seth has been taking care of the live streams and what Seth did was I gave him my Amazon account and now he set up a wish list full of really weird shit that you guys were able to send to us via that wish list. So this is the first thing and it's sent by Sal. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a gift from one of my editors, Sal. A little something to get your bar started. Oh, he sent us ice cube shapers. I got you those. But don't tell Sal that. <laughs> Sal, thank you so much. I really wanted these. Thank you, Sal. You, the ones you have are up in the kitchen. We'll keep these in the fridge oh, down here. Oh, nice. I like these ones. They're, they're clear. The ones yeah. I got you are like all black. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sal. When you come over, we'll have a whiskey and I'll give you one of these cubes in your whiskey. A gift from Robert Antes. I, I think this is, I, I don't know if I mixed up some of these letters with the gift. Uh, Robert Antes, Merry Christmas, you wonderful soul. Uh, let these gifts spark joy for all to see. Also, keep up the great content. See other gift from Dagare. I think this is it. It's a book of how to live with a huge penis. <laughs> I know, I don't need this book, Lene. I can't relate with it. But it's a book about having a massive penis. So let me live vicariously through the person of this book. Okay? <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. It's huge. She doesn't complain, right? No, no, it's, it's lovely. He's my best friend. <laughs> Moving on from small penises. I want to read it. <laughs> you probably got a bigger one than me. Uh, here's a thank you note. Oh! What? Hey, um, babe. Don't say which <laughs> one I am. I know, it's positive. Oh shit, the battery's about to run out. Uh-oh. <laughs> she was gonna say my penis is... Next gift is by, it doesn't say, I have to go onto the barcode and figure out who this is. They sent me a making, oh, Idiot's Guide to Making YouTube Videos, second edition. I need that, thank you. You need that, yeah. I need that. I don't. I don't, I'm, I'm new. Are you saying I'm shit at YouTube? No, I No, know. are they saying I'm shit at YouTube that I need a book on how to make YouTube videos? This is a big camera. This is how you use a camera. You point and hit the big shiny red button and you have a personality. Done. That's how you do YouTube. Or else if you're Nogla, just hire someone that can edit really well. Or just get a dog and milk it dry. Human, let me go. Let me go. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Bobby. Yeah, we're totally not exploiting you for monetary gain and views. No. The comments are totally saying, we love Brian and Lene. We're totally not sticking around for the dogs. <laughs> and Sansa's in her little fort over here. Oh, quick. I'm just going to hang out in here. I don't want to deal with this. Are you in a fort? Are you good? Are you in your little fort? Yeah. Little pooper. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> 
I think I have an idea of what this is. Is it for me? Maybe not. No, oh, it's a mug. <laughs> ah, look at it. That is great. Get it? It's great. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you letting me know how you feel about me. Again, it's another one where I have to scan the barcode. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Usually it comes with the... This is probably from someone that's Australian. Anthony Nataro. Is that you, Anthony, that got this? Thanks for the laughs. Here's a little crack. Must be. Love wait, you. Wait. Merry Let's Christmas. Patient Zero. Where's the crack? Anth that's what I'm saying. Maybe... Oh, no, it's the next gift. This is... All right, this is his one. I can read it. That's his one. Okay, I don't know who sent this one. I don't... I don't have a name. But well, whoever, if it's if it's Robert who sent this, whoever called me a c thank you very much. I appreciate it. I shall drink out of my mug and remind myself every morning when I have my cup of tea what I really am. Yeah, good. That's the main thing. Good. I'm going to therapy and I'm learning about who I am and I'm learning to accept that I will for always, forever will always be one of those. Next gift. Thanks for the last year's little crack from uh, Patient Zero Anthony, and it's a book about how to be Irish. You need this. Why do I need it? Because when you go to Ireland, you're completely lost. You've no idea. You asked me to translate everything, and this will give you all the tips and tricks. I live in America. And the slang. Oh, here, actually, this is pretty good. Slang terminology and phrases. Uh, sham. Um, really? Fake. That's what I would have said. A sham is a friend, apparently. Who the fuck says that? A uh, gowl. This is more towards Nogo's direction. Gowl. Oh, yeah, nothing but a gowl. Debbie Downer. Uh, an annoying, stupid friend, so no glow. Um, <laughs> feek. To give a girl the feek. Oh, um, I don't know. More PG of what you're thinking. <laughs> think, of a, think of the PG version of what you're thinking. Finger. <laughs> Kiss. Oh. <laughs> oh, feek. This is a gorgeous girl. No, no, we said feek differently. Feek, give her, give her Oh, feek. looks like he's going to need this. Uh, Wait a minute. Right, yeah, so there's a bunch of terminology. Uh, I can read this off and teach Lene how to be a langer, how to be a bogger, how to be an Irish Mickey Paddy fuck whenever she comes over next and she doesn't need to translate all this stuff. Or I don't need to translate everything that my cousins say to her. When I brought her into like a, a pub to meet my family and she couldn't understand a word they said and she had to look to me and I had to translate to the American. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. My lady. And then last gift, real quick, moving on, because we're spending too much time here. Uh, one of my childhood favorites, uh, you gotta have a copy too. Thanks for all the amazing content. I'm always excited to see your new videos and live streams. You're a huge inspiration for me. Keep at it from Ghosty Lane and sends me Scrooge. Is that right, Scrooge? Yep, Scrooge. I've never seen this. I haven't either. Uh, so we'll watch this. Thank you very much. Yay! Thank you, everyone that got us some uh, gifts. Um, it's so yeah. When I do live streams, there's like a, a little Amazon wish list. There's nothing really. There's I don't want people thinking there's like laptops and uh, Teslas on there. No, it's that's a bunch. Fine. It's a bunch. Yeah, it's a bunch of weird stuff that Seth has put on there. So good job, fellas. Oh shit! Do I have another thing? Oh, I have more. Uh, this one's to remind you of where you started from, Natty. Oh fuck, Natty. Natty. This is to remind me of from where I start. You fucking serious? It's adorable. Oh, that actually looks good. No, I actually would look like a good worker. Thank you very much. I get it. My Wi-Fi is so much better now. Did you work? You only worked at Subway, right? It was. No, yeah. So no, too? I didn't. No, no. Do you not know what the McDonald's? Oh, I, know, I know the Wi-Fi. McDonald's Wi-Fi. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Would you be an attractive-looking McDonald's worker? You'd want my quarter pounder. Oh yeah, I would. Moving on. Uh, oh shit, mom's gonna watch this. Hi mom. Hi. <laughs> I forgot. I told her I was gonna open up this and send her the video. <laughs> How are you mom? This one is from Sammy. Says I hope you enjoy uh, this one as well. And it's a book. Things to do while you poo on the loo. Fart jokes, word finder, Sudoku. Oh my god, this is actually amazing. Mazes, dot to dot, mash game. Oh my god, this is actually incredible. So you get like a bunch of quizzes and like uh, Sudoku <laughs> games, connect, you know, connected, whatever, crosswords and word puzzles. I can enjoy. Oh, I'm gonna have massive red like indents 
Your legs are gonna fall my, asleep. My legs are gonna be dead, <laughs> but I'm gonna do some Sudoku while dropping a deuce. <laughs> nice. That's actually my favorite. It's good. I actually see this as actually being used quite well. And then the last thing, and this is sent in by Sal, Salvatore again, Simpator. My biggest fan, who works for me. One of the purest forms to listen to an artist. This has some of my favorite songs on his, of his. I'm sure you'll enjoy them just as much as when you get around to owning a vinyl player. This is probably gonna be Elton John related because Sal, I think, knows how much I like Elton John. It is. It's awesome. What a guess, because I knew Sal knows how much I like Elton John. That is Dude, awesome. Dude, thank you so much. All right, well, Sal's getting a nice Christmas bonus. Can you get me a vinyl player? Not, get me a vinyl player. I want me money. <laughs> Fine, I'll get myself one and then say it's babe, from you. Babe, I'll, can I borrow? I'll give you okay. some money to get me a vinyl player. Relationships, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here's the main thing that you're here for. Last time we did one from Ireland and England kind of sweets or candy. If I say sweets, just roll with it, all right? It's what I call them. This one apparently is from America. And it's like a road trip of all different kind of sweets from around America. So Ooh. like you have one from like different states. Let's start off with the worst one. <laughs> Tuna jerky. Why would you do this to just me Just get it out of the way. I'm out. No, Lene, we take a nibble. You just take a you nibble. You don't pay me enough. You just take a nibble. It's tuna jerky. I think we'll be surprised. So this is tuna, apparently. It fucking better be tuna. Okay, just, just. Come on, just a bite. I'll do it first. It's not that bad. It's not good. It's not good. I'd not be rushing out to it, but... Oh yeah, you can taste the tuna. You want it? No, you can have it. No. Okay. <laughs> you might like it. Thank you, Arya. So that is uh, Kaimana jerky, and this is their tuna jerky. It's made with lemon salt and wild tuna, and it's made in the US, in the USA. It's made in Hawaii. So this is a Hawaiian de uh, delicacy. So if there's any Hawaiians watching, aloha, Honolulu. I'm not a fish kind of guy, to be honest with you. I'm not crazy about the old fish, like a bit of steak and stuff like that, but I've never been into the fish. I give it a five out of 10. I give it a four. <laughs> you might like this one, Aunt Sally's Crayoli, 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 Pralines? What the heck is a Pralines? That's not a nut. Never heard of that. Is that a nut? I don't know. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I think these are nuts with a toffee. I'm borderline allergic to cashews, so <clears throat> this could be the end of me. I could take it. That's actually really nice. That's actually really nice. Wow. That's actually really, really nice. I, I'm not going to eat it because of I, I, will. I need to be tested for allergies to nuts. I think I have an allergy to cashew nuts, so maybe we'll mm -hmm. keep an eye on. I'll wash this down just in case. That's actually ridiculously tasty. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Big fan of that. So if anyone is from, what state is this from? This is from New Orleans. You get to pick the next one. Have, have, a, have a little look-see here. I got, I got a little one over here. Salty peanut butter coated inside a thick layer of chewy sweet taffy. The perfect flavor balance exists. Thank you, California. Woo, Kelly! Abba Zaba, it's called. Off the rip, Brian Hamby doesn't really like your peanut butter. All Americans, you, you love your peanut butter. Peanut butter this, peanut butter that. I like your peanut butter whiskey. We have variety, you haven't tried everything. I know, but peanut butter we as- We have I just options. don't, I'm not crazy about the flavor. Okay, so it's it's like a white taffy. I don't know what flavor the taffy is. And peanut butter in the middle. Doesn't look comfortable. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks California for that one. Um, that's a 4.1. Needs a five. Uh, it's okay. California, keep trying, all right? Keep trying. Uh, next one is a Goo Goo Cluster. Where is those. this? Oh, those are gonna be good. Uh, it is from Nashville, Tennessee. So oh. Wildcat, Wildcat definitely had a few Goo Goos in his day. Uh, Goo Goo Cluster, the original. Actually, no, he's not from. He lives there. He's not from there. 
Ooey gooey candy clusters from Tennessee filled with caramel, peanuts, marshmallows, and coated in chocolate. I eat peanuts all the time. I'm fine. I'm fine with peanuts. I'm just looking at everything else. Like so it's caramel, which I love, peanuts, which I don't mind, and marshmallows, which I love, coated in chocolate, which I love. So this should be a this should be a high point. Mm. That's a solid seven point. Definitely an eight or nine for me. I want to say 7.5, but that was, I'd eat that. No problem. Yeah, seven and a half. I'll go it. Lene's going with an eight. You know when you're eating and you're trying to talk to someone and you're like. Like you're eating taffy. You got peanut butter in your mouth. You try to talk. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be exhausted. My, my chin, my uh, jawline, my jaw muscles are going to be all tense. Like I've been working out. Uh, I want to get this one out of the way. I saw it on the list. Do you know what this is? Well, I saw the elk stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is elk jerky. I have. It's good. Chewy, satisfying. These elk jerky sticks from New Mexico are packed with great flavor and protein. Mm -hmm. America. So this is what the likes of Chris Pratt hunting them down. I know he mm -hmm. makes he makes jerky out of like the legs and stuff my and friends, leftovers. My friends back home, whenever um, when I was growing up. They would hunt and then they would make. Yeah, the, so this is what like the leftover of the game uh, when they're hunting like elk, obviously. All right, this is my first time eating elk. Bit of a weird feeling. It's a bit of a weird Just texture. Just do it. <laughs> like nibbling the pee pee. What? What? It's like a, a sausage. No, it's not a sausage. Still, con this is considered a jerky. Still. I'm describing the sensation. Oh. <laughs> That puckered you. Mmm. Mmm. Um, um, seven. Seven. Oh. Right, next one. Marsh's homemade premium quality Buckeyes. Yeah. And it's definitely peanut butter because it says it on the side. Peanut butter balls from Ohio are so creamy they melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> balls. balls. Melting in your mouth. Suck on my chocolate peanut butter balls. Ooh, wow. Just put them in your mouth and suck them. Right, so just pop the ball in your mouth and let it melt. Mmm. These balls, these balls are a mouthful. You might need a fucking drink for this one. Balls are a mouthful? Mm. These, are, these are creamy. Mm. <laughs> and the balls just melt in your mouth. They do, literally mm. melt in your mouth. I'll give, I'll give the taste a good, like, solid eight. Mm -hmm. As for, like, it melting in your mouth, it feels like it's just caking in your mouth. It's a little overwhelming. Yeah. It's so then bit, that would kind of knock it. It's I would a bit give too much. Its taste is great, though. I'll give it an eight. That was a good I liked it, but yeah, it is a bit of a... We're on to the second last thing. Oh, no, it's fish. No, you're going to like this one. Oh. Look at the bottom of it. What do you I see? I know it's a crab, but I don't like crab as a chip. Chesapeake crab chips. I don't... Spicy briny taste that makes crab so delicious is now captured in chip form from Virginia. I don't eat crab. I don't think I've ever... Crab. I don't think I've ever eaten crab. It's my favorite. It's a bit spicy. It's not bad. I don't know about the flavor. You're the judge. <laughs> I don't like it. It is not right. Cra it's crab flavored chip. Just doesn't. Does that taste like crab? It has a hint of it. But it's just not right. <laughs> not right! <laughs> I don't know if that tastes like crab. Um, It's a bit spicy. Yeah. So. Kick to it. I'd give it, a, give it a, a six. Four, three. Three for me. Yeah, you're, that's, you're being critical because you love crab. I love crab, but I like it only as. That's a disgrace to the crab industry. Yeah, we'll just zoom in on her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's all why you're here. That's why you've made it this far in the video. And all the comments are saying, he's not wrong. <laughs> that is why I'm at insert time of which this video was at. The final thing of the video is my Christmas present from my sister. So my sister Louise sent me one of these. It's called a paddy box. Again, this is not sponsored. They don't know I'm doing this. This was literally sent to me by my sister and I thought it'd be cool to put it on a video. Uh, paddy box is a company that make like uh, snack boxes like what you just saw, but it's for expats, Irish people abroad, and they'll ship out a box at home, like snacks and stuff like that to give like a person that's living away, the homesick person like myself, and gives me uh, some snacks from home and make me feel good inside. And here's their message. 
Your mommy always told you sharing is caring at the paddy box. And it's true, mommy did always tell me that. And the message from my sister is uh, happy Christmas bro and Lene from Louise and Brian. I won't read out their full name. Uh, right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the best, like she knows this is probably the best thing you could get me. It's something from home. So, uh, your patty box has been packed with grog, which is Irish for love, shipped with love, and delivered with love. Uh, we hope you love this little box of Ireland. Share your patty box moments with us. Well, someone will tweet, tweet it at you, don't you worry. Right. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh, this is amazing! Uh, Tato! You, you all heard of Tato, you know what Tato is. The best crisps on the planet next to King Crisps. Anyone else fights with me, I'm sorry, but I think King Crisps, me and my mother love King Crisps. And I, uh, potato I will take as my solid second best crisp in the world. A uh, potato chip, this is cheese and onion, potato chips. Am I right, Lene? Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Mm -hmm. It is potato chips. Potato. It is cheese and onion, potato chips. Uh, you don't need to see them because I'm gonna enjoy them with a nice hot bath with my lady. <laughs> That's stupid <smile>. Hi, mom. <laughs> I love a cup of tea, Ooh. Barry's tea, Lion's tea, either one, this is brilliant. Cup of tea, I had to spend a lot of money to get tea imported, because the Boston Tea Party thing, they tax your tea. So, uh, cup, tea bags, brilliant. Another present idea, if you want to get me something, get me tea, I love tea. He does. And now I can have it, mom, mom, I can have my cup of tea with my mug. Can you read it, mom? She's like, yes, yes, bright, yes, I can read it. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is a little white box. What could this be? It's small. It's fragile. Touching it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Relax. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what this. Can you see what it is? Yeah, I'm right there. But I don't know what I'm, it is. You don't know what it is. Wait. I'm trying to figure out if I can recognize oh, what this is from okay. touch. It looks like an Irish thing. It's. It's green. Yeah. It's not a food. It's a Christmas decoration. Oh, for f oh it's the post yeah, box. That's what I was like, oh, I that's know. brilliant. Oh, that's amazing. It's the it's the post box. Okay. The own post box. We don't have post box. Oh, that's so good. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's I'm um, sad now. That reminds me of home. There used to be one of these post boxes on my corner in Turner. In the countryside, you didn't really see these <laughs> as much. Yeah. But in Dublin city, you had loads of these. The um, the post box. Cute. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah, like oh, I'm so happy with that. Ones. Oh, that's amazing. That's like over there. I don't know if you can see in the top corner over there. I have a road sign uh, like an Irish road sign that points to Turnure where I was born um, and it shows how many the exact kilometers to there. So things like that little Irish touches. I love uh, this is the taste of Christmas uh, your box of roses. What a box of roses are. It's like an assortment of different chocolates with different Ooh. flavors. These are probably the most popular ones in Ireland when it comes to Christmas. Uh, apparently, a uh, fun story about roses. I attacked my grandmother at the age of one with a tennis racket because I wanted a box of roses and I attacked her with a tennis racket and she was screaming terrified of me because I was a little terrorist with a tennis racket and was swinging at her because I wanted her oh, chocolate so roses. So you were a terrorizer when you I was little. literally a terrorizer as a baby. So yeah, these have different flavors. It's like hazelnut, caramel, truffle country fudge, which is my favorite. It's just all fudge stick. It's amazing. You'll like these. You will love these. These are what you eat at Christmas. Uh, I'm not really into these. You might be. Actually, I might give them a go. Mince pies. It has apple in it and mince meat. I know. I don't know. I might give it a, a try. I've always found it a bit weird that it's a pie. It's a pie with mince in it, and there's people back home that are saying, would you just eat it? It's grand. I probably will try like it. it. We'll I'll give it a go, it. but I've never been into mince pies. Have I tried one? No. I was a picky eater. Thank you, Louise, who sent me this, because she was the one that gave me all this shit when I was a kid, because I, I was a late baby. My sister was in her, she was 16, 5th, well, no, she wasn't 16, she was born. She was 10 when I was born, and when she was 16, I was pretty much her toy. So you were 6. 
or something like yeah and she'd bring me to the shops and get me a bunch of sweets and get me high as a kite on sugar and then she made me beat up my best friend uh, Paddy her best friend was Paddy's sister so Louise and Katrina used to make me and Paddy get high on sugar a sugar rush and then they put us in this little enclosed uh, square and made us wrestle like WWF we kicked the fucking shit out of each other. For their enjoyment, because they filled us up with sugar and made us do stupid shit. So yeah, Louise is gonna be denying this. We never did that, you did. You did, it was the weird little slide thing in the back garden and you turned it into a square. And then you brought us into the library and the school across the road and ditched us in the library while you stalked us with horror Halloween masks on. With the lights off at night time. I wish I had siblings. She was, they were- That's awesome. <laughs> that was fucked. That's awesome. Poor Paddy and me are traumatized. So this is her way of saying sorry. <laughs> this is my favorite sweet. Oh yeah, I've had those. Um, you had me have them. Chocolate eclairs. So it's like a toffee that, it's hard when it goes into your mouth, but then it gets soft quite quickly. And it has like a ball of chocolate in the middle. And it's good. amazing. It's really good. Really, really amazing. I won't say it's everyone's favorite, but it's mine. I absolutely love them. That's the best thing that's come out of this box next to the, <clears throat> the, the post box. Next thing, dairy milk. Everyone in Ireland knows what dairy milk is. It's just plain chocolate. But uh, Cadbury's is like the most popular brand of chocolate. I used to think it was Irish, it's English. But we just import all their shit because you know they used to rule us. So we kept their language and kept their chocolate. Fuck them. <laughs> all the English viewers. It's okay. Stop talking about it, we're sorry. I'm American. We got the fuck out of there too. <laughs> chocolate fingers. You've never had a chocolate finger. I've never had a chocolate finger. No, not right now, not right now. Not Why? Right now. Well, later. Why? I don't... It's a thing. You take. I, a, you I've don't have got, the whole finger. I've got a slight tummy ache. Just have a nibble of my finger. Just nibble it. Just a nibble. Just a little. Just pop it in your mouth. Just. Hi, mum. I'm just, ma'am. I might even show this to ma'am. Okay. <laughs> just have a nibble. You'd have a cup of tea. And you dip. You dip your finger into it. It melts the chocolate a little bit, and you just nibble it. It's just like a little biscuit. Chocolate fingers are a staple in every young Irish man and Irish woman's uh, youth. And then the last thing, no, it's not the last thing. Oh my God, Ballymaloo relish. I, I need to I need to at least try and use it in some Ballymaloo relish. It's just a tomato like relish. You'd have it in a breakfast roll. Like sometimes you get a sausage. Uh, you know what I have like the breakfast roll where they get sausages, rashers, bacon. Mm -hmm. That's Bacon. It's really it's really popular in Ireland. I'll be honest with you. I'm not massive on Ballymaloo relish, but it's good to have one in the house. And then the last thing, it wouldn't be Christmas without my one and only selection box from back home. Selection box is just it's just a box with different chocolate bars. So I got a book about living with a, pe a penis of a certain size. We've had a bunch of American treats, some of them shockingly shit, and some of them surprisingly delightful. You've got to see the puppers. You've Lene's got this uh, this hat on, and I've got Christmas jumper with reindeers with alcohol problems. Perfect Irishman. Selection boxes, Irish stuff, grand. We're done. Good luck to you. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you to Lene for joining me. If you want to see Lene more, her link is in the description for her Twitch channel. She streams there a lot. Go over there, give her a follow. Sansa will be here next time. She's milking it for the camera. She knows you love her. And we know you're only here to the end of the video because she's still in the picture. We get it. We know you're not really here for us. So we're milking the dogs for all they're worth. We shall see you guys next time. I'm going to have a cup of Barry's tea and a packet of tea. Oh, ho, ho, ho. As an Irish fellow we do is now Roy Banos keeps going on about oh Tito oh, <laughs> so yeah uh, thank you for watching Louise thank you for sending me thank that thank you uh, this is my I'm absolutely in love with this I don't know why but like that just <clears throat> makes me feel like I'm at home uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed uh, leave a like leave a comment down below if we don't see you before Christmas have a very Merry Christmas with your loved ones be safe everyone that is uh, you know during this pandemic. Much love. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays! Yeah.